All right, today we have a new 48 volt battery from Vetra. Let's open it up. We have a battery cable, uh, some sort of bracket. We got uh, mounting hardware and a manual. All right, so check it out. This is a wall mount battery. Yeah, so this is meant to hang on your wall. All right, so we got a power button on the right side. We've got positive terminals, negative terminals, and this battery has communication. We have a display. Okay, according to the manual, this is a 100 amp hour. We have a recommended charging current of 20 to 50 amps, a maximum charging of 100 amp, a standard discharge current of 100 amp. The communication supports CAN, RS-45, RS-232. And the manual says the weight is 50 kilograms. I'm also looking at the accessories that came with it. It looks like there's cables so there's one that says Victron, there's one that says SRNE, and then there's one that says Pylon, GrowWatt, DI, Goodwe, SMA, so far, and Mega Revo. So this uh, clearly supports multiple communication protocols. Let's see if we can power this thing on. There we go, We've got a green light. I just saw the screen come on over here, and it did. Hey, this is a very nice looking screen. Uh, pretty high res actually for a battery. All right, so it says we're at 56% stated charge. Oh, look at, and it is a touch screen. So we were able to slide, is that what we did? There we go, we can slide it. Okay, we can slide the pages over. So it says inverter model. Looks like it's set to DI. Uh, oh, but we can change it with just a push of a button. Interesting. Okay, so that's how it works. You just slide like that. We got screws all around the edge here. Let's go ahead and just dig right into this thing. All right, so we got all the screws removed. Let's see if we can get this top lid off. Okay. All right, and we have a cable attached to the display here. I wonder if I can see if we can just remove this. There we go. Right off, no problem. This is interesting. That looks like a micro SD card slot. Hmm. All right, so now we've got this plastic cover. Let's pull that off. All right, I think we got all those screws removed. Let's see if this comes off. Indeed it does. All right, guys, we are in. <laughs> all right, so we do have prismatic cells. Uh, we've got aluminum welded bus bars, it appears. And it does have a little hump in the middle. That is good. That little relief hump is a good sign. These cells are held down securely with these brackets. There appears to be a, another sheet of plastic above the cells. So that's a little bit of extra layer of protection. And then we have fiberboard. 
looks like between the cells and the casing. Very good. Looks like this, this one kind of moved a little bit, but that's fine. It was not actually going to go anywhere. Yep, all the way around. So it's actually like a foam and then fiber board. And then we got these big beefy bus bars coming from the main positive uh, to the panel terminals here. And then on the negative side, we've got a big beefy bus bar going to the BMS. And then a big beefy bus bar coming from the BMS to the panel terminals here. And there is the BMS. Looks like we got a little board here that says pre-charge VO2. So are these little pre-charge resistors? And we see inductors here. So these uh, looks like there's some kind of current limiting abilities on this BMS. I can't really see the branding of the BMS. It says, looks like it says EF003AB241200004 on this little sticker here. All right, let's put this guy back together and get it charged up. All right, guys, so I got this thing fully charged to 100%. And what I want to do now is I want to see how long it will run my air conditioning for. Now, I've done these before, um, but... I think the last one I did, it wasn't quite as hot outside. It's, it's hotter now. So we can see in this room, we've got 81 degrees. And we can see outside, we're like 95. And this room is 15 by 14 foot, I believe. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on. Okay, inverter's on, the battery's on, we're at 100%. Let's turn the air conditioner on. I've got it set to 74 degrees and it's on medium. It's currently 7.49 p.m. And we can see here on this little screen, we're pulling 430, 490, uh, 620, 730 watts. Okay, seems like we've leveled around 730 watts. So I'll just let that run and we'll check it periodically and see how it does. Okay, so it is now 10.53 p.m. So uh, right about three hours in now. And we have gone down to 375 watts. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's not picking up on the camera super well. Well, it says 375 watts. And we're at 63% state of charge. All right, so let's check our temps in here. So about 70, 77 right there. Uh, 76 over here. All right, so we'll just let it keep on running and I'll be back in a bit. All right, it is 8.09 a.m the next day <laughs> so we've been going a little over 12 hours and we are down to 26 percent state of charge and look at this we're only pulling 135 watts and that's because obviously overnight it cooled down and the air conditioner doesn't have a whole lot of work to do. So yeah, we're showing about 74 degrees. And outside it is about 80 degrees. 
So uh, we'll just let it keep on going and see what we get to. All right, the time is now 10.57 a.m. So we've been running for around 15 hours and we are at 16% state of charge and we're currently doing a little over 300 watts. Oh, it looks like it's ramping up a little bit. Yes, I guess it's kind of ramping up to cool down in here since the temperatures are rising outside. Uh, we're at 75 degrees in here. And let's check the outside temps. Now yeah, we got some sun over here. There we go. In that sun, we are at like 95. The shaded spot, we're at 85. All right, so uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pause this test because I've got to go and do some work today. I'm going to be gone the whole day, and I'm not going to be able to babysit this. <laughs> so we're going to have to pause it and restart it up when I get back. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn the air conditioner off. And we'll turn the breaker off for the inverter. And then we'll turn the battery off. All right, so I'll be back later to resume this test. All right, guys, I'm back to resume our test. Uh, this is actually the next day, Monday. Uh, last night I got back late. I was too tired to, to mess with this. So it is 6.29. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn this back on. Turn the air conditioner on. So we see some power ramping up here. Over 300 watts now. And uh, I did run the air conditioner for about 30 minutes on my house power, not this, uh, just so I could kind of pre-cool the room that way I wasn't starting back from a, a completely hot room. I figured that'd be a more fair way to do it. Uh, it still is a little warm in here though. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Yeah, we're showing 82. And outside we are, look at that, we're showing 102 on the ground there. See what the shade has. Yeah, 89, almost 90 degrees in the shade. And we're hitting 780, well, 750 right now on the watts. All right, I'll just let that continue on and I'll be back. All right, we're now down to 1% and we're pulling 936 watts. <laughs> Let's check the time. So it's 7.16 p.m. So what is that? 46 minutes, so 15 hours and 46 minutes so far. We'll just let it keep on going. Okay, so we are still at 1%, <laughs> uh, but I'm noticing the voltage starting to drop. We're at 49.4 volts, uh, doing 823 watts to the air conditioner. And it is 731. So we've done a full 16 hours. All right, guys, it just stopped and our time is 739. So we got 16 hours in 10 minutes, roughly total. Uh, we finally got our zero percent. I think O3 probably means low voltage or something like that. All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'll leave links down in the description for this battery if you wanna check it out. Leave me a comment down there in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this battery. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.